This approach can help elucidate the role of specific ventral tegmental area, somatodendritic receptors, and phasic dopamine release in the nucleus accumbens. The main advantage of this approach is that questions about receptor function and control over phasic dopamine release can be addressed in the intact brain. Optimizing the carbon fiber microelectrode in bipolar stimulator location can be challenging. And some advice for beginners is starting recording in the dorsal striatum. Due to the use and manipulation of multiple types of electrodes, including recording, reference, and stimulating electrodes, a visual guide of when and where these electrodes are implanted will be useful. After confirming a lack of response to pedal reflex, clean the scalp of an anesthetized rat with three sequential iodopovidone and 70% ethanol scrubs. After the last scrub, use sterilized needle nose tweezers and surgical scissors to cut away enough scalp tissue to make room for the implanted electrodes. Gently clean the exposed skull surface with sterilized cotton tip applicators before applying two to three drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide to help identify lambda and bregma. Next, use a 1mm drill bit set to approximately 20,000 revolutions per minute to make a 1.5mm diameter hole, 2.5mm anterior, and 3.5mm lateral to the bregma. Implant a 1.59mm outer diameter, 3.2mm long screw about halfway into the hole until the screw is firmly in place. Next, drill a 1mm diameter reference electrode hole in the left hemisphere, 1.5mm anterior.